Hi friends and welcome to Crumbs from Gerard. Jesus is too huge a figure that one gospel cannot contain him. And so, even in the Passion, each gospel gives a different version of the totality of what Jesus' Passion really was. Each gospel focuses on an aspect which you see right through the gospel. So let's take them, just one aspect from each of the gospels. So Matthew, Matthew is writing for the Jews. So who is responsible for Jesus' death? The chief priests say, not us, it is Judas and therefore they refuse to take the money saying it's blood money and they don't put it into the treasury. Whereas Pilate doesn't take responsibility, he washes his hands. It is the Jews who take responsibility and say, let his blood be upon us and upon our children. When it comes to Mark's Gospel, you see the most human aspect of Jesus. And so for six hours, Jesus is hanging upon the cross. For the first three hours, he's being mocked by everybody. And for the next three hours, there's darkness. That's what Jesus is also feeling. He feels completely abandoned. And the only words of Jesus from the cross is, Father, why have you forsaken me? In Luke's Gospel, you see Jesus who specifically reaches out to the last, the least, and the lost. And so in the Passion also, Jesus reaches out and heals the slave whose ear has been cut by Peter. Jesus looks at the women who are following him and tells them to be sorry for what is happening to them. Upon the cross, Jesus forgives everybody. And finally, even the thief, he says, Today you will be with me in paradise. When it comes to the Gospel of John, the gospel that we will be reading today on Good Friday. What do you have of Jesus? Right through the gospel you see Jesus, a kind of glorified Jesus. And so, his debt, he takes it upon himself. He takes it when he wants, he can drop it when he wants. I lay down my life that I may take it again. And at the Garden of Gethsemane when he mentions I am, everybody falls down to the ground. Simon of Cyrene doesn't help Jesus to carry his cross, he carries it himself. And upon the cross, he says, it is finished. He has completed what he came for. And therefore, now what about us? What about your version of the passion of Jesus? As you look upon Jesus this Good Friday, what is it that appeals to you about the crucified Lord? God Heavenly Father, as we spend this time on Good Friday, being with Jesus crucified, may we discover our Jesus crucified. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen.